me in love. Like a male there, Sonny pumped me in the stairwell. Can't hit something very well. Skin tone, sweet caramel. Better at the sun, that she was staring hell. So I paid it all cool, now she's taking that you. Hoping this kid in a fairy tale. I'm like, no, man. You might show me with the bushes, I'm a slow jam. She a certified freak, kind of gold man. Put me blowing up my phone like I'm no man. Get him with a house, why you think I'm with a game plan? You find me. I'm just showing like a board with my high and a freak. I roll up a paper, make me burn the tree. Get back in love. Strong, you can bring your friend along. Be wrong, we can get along. In our zone, we'll be freaking to the bone. And to the DJs, man, you know, and there's no shot to the DJs. I, I really don't know how DJs work or or what DJs, like, I know what DJs do. Like, you, you spin records and, and even make artists big. But, I mean... You know, I actually just kind of had a small conversation with a DJ in DMs recently because I was trying to get him to spin my record. And it's not like you have to spin my record. And and, 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 and maybe I'm only thinking of how it used to be that, I, that the vision I have of DJing when I was young, seeing DJs and seeing DJs on movies and different things. like And even like on Juice, like you practicing. You know what I'm saying? You're putting records together and you're practicing. And I just feel like... That's all I ask, like, you know, like, you put my record in in your section, so, you know, because I don't even know if DJs practice anymore. Maybe you don't practice, so maybe you, you're only going to put on what's hot out there in the streets. I mean, I don't know, but to me, it's like, you guys make shit hot in the streets. I mean, I mean, it's one thing if you got a hot record, but it can be a hot record but nobody would know, so now it's really a trash record because nobody know of the record. But if you spin the record and you mix it within your mixing and, and, and you make it flow after the right tracks and all these drops and things that you do to, to, to make the crowd move, if it's a hot record, it's going to do its thing when you spin it. You feel me? But you got to spin it. You feel me? So now I mean, now that goes to, you know what I'm saying? Because dude did say it ain't lucrative. You know what I'm saying? It ain't lucrative for a DJ to break records and stuff like that. Some he said, I could be saying it wrong, so please don't don't come back and come after me about it. But it was something within that area. It's not lucrative. I mean, bro, I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't worried about paying a DJ to spin my record. But, like, I just feel like, like, like I want you to want to spin my record. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know exactly how to make you want to spin my record. I don't even know if you're really looking for new music to spin, to, to spin while you DJing. You know what I'm saying? But I, I would like to say if I got a new record that I think is dope and I, I want to present it to you, not, not maybe you may not think it's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, so I can understand that you don't want to spin it or you don't want to waste your time on somebody you don't know. I get it, but it's like, it kind of, to me, defeats the purpose of the DJ, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, DJs found the new hot shit, and they presented it to the people, and then the people certified that it was hot. The DJ didn't certify that it was hot. The DJ might have thought it was hot, just like the artist might think his shit is hot. So if you think it's hot, or well, yeah, I'm fucking with that. Now, it's your job to take it in front of these people and spin that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, okay, they fucking with it. We got something. You know what I mean? Now, 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 then again, like, I don't know how it goes with it being lucrative. Do the artists got to keep paying you? Like, that's something that artists and DJs, we got to get an understanding because... I mean, now, if you're getting booked because I'm hot and I'm a hot artist and, and you're the one that's really spinning my records and you got this cool way of DJing and now you're spinning Moultrie and now you're getting flown out here and flown out there, I mean, that is lucrative. You know what I'm saying? But, but then again, I don't know how DJs go. So, DJs, I mean, definitely comment, definitely, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, honestly, you can school me as much as you want, but I, would, I probably don't understand the relationship between the artist and the DJ. You know what I'm saying? I think that that needs to really be understood because some DJs, they are just doing it for the money. Like, they, hey, I'm going to spin your record. 
if you're gonna pay me. Then, and to me, someone don't even give a fuck if it's hot or not. I mean, I mean, they'll spend it even if it's trash. Just pay them. Now, if nobody responds to it, ah, whatever. But if you keep paying them, they'll probably keep spending it. You know, I mean, cool. But I just feel like when it's the love and you have the ear for the music and, and you test it out within how, how you do your thing and it's like, yo, I like this record coming off of this record. Like, that shit is smooth. It's a smooth transition and that shit bump like that, you know, within these. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm thinking, you know, because it's, it's an artistry to me. DJing is an artist, you're just like creating the beat, creating the song, rapping, coming up with words, like, you know what I'm saying, you rhyme, you putting this word after this word, like you putting one track after another, like like it's 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 like it's wordplay with, with records. You know what I'm saying? It's it's it's, it's a it's an art. So that's why it's like, you know what I'm saying, you wanna take this art with this art, and now it becomes your art. Like my art with with this other artist art. And that artist's art, we give it to you and you able to make your own art. It becomes your shit now. You feel me? And, and, and that that's what I be wanting to to hear it hear from DJs, but understand, you know what I'm saying? Because it seems like now today's it's only about trending. You know what I'm saying? But when you are in the control seat of what people listen to, they gonna follow you. You are the influencer in that position. You feel me? Like, these people that's listening to these same artists, different things like that, they are forced to listen to these people, to me. Especially when it comes from radio spins and DJs. You know what I'm saying? DJs are playing pretty much the same shit that's on the radios. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? They still being hit with the same song, same records. You feel me? So it's like they forced to dance and move to these same rhythms and sounds and frequencies because of the DJs, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I'm saying. It's like, you know, you got to make room for what's new that's coming in. You ain't got to. But to me, for your artistry and to stand out from the rest that's just following the trend, I think that that would be the way. Because this is never, ever, absolutely not, nothing to do with bashing or tearing down the DJ. Because I feel like we all need each other in the sense of uh, creation. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have a thing to do that we that we do. Like, I create the music. You spin and make your own form of art and creation to move the people. You know what I'm saying? But your job is to keep them moving, keep them in tune, keep them partying, keep them buying drinks, keep them whatever it is. You feel me? So it's my job to do my part, your job to do your part. You know what I'm saying? We come together and we just we form this thing that's that's really hip hop. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's how I feel when it comes to the relationship of artists and DJing and my thoughts. And, 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 and my opinion when it comes to the DJs, but I'm no DJ by far. I just I am I love music and I am a creator of music. And really I'm just trying to understand the pipeline to the DJ. Cause I done dealt with DJs, how I done dealt with DJs where they'll spend my record before a fee. You know what I'm saying? Which is fine. I ain't tripping all you know, you gotta eat, you feel me? You know, nobody trying to do this shit for free, you feel me? So I get it. But it's like, as soon as I'm not able to, to pay that fee, no matter if the track is, is nice or not, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, nobody going to hear it again. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, like, I mean, like, how do you really do it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't give a damn how much of a budget, you know what I'm saying? You out here, you moving, you shaking, you handling your thing. Like, like do you got to constantly keep pimp playing for the hotness? Or when is it? Because I don't think every record that you're spinning, you're getting paid to spin it. You know what I'm saying? I honestly, I don't think every artist in the world is going to pay you to spin a record forever. You know, or constantly. I don't know. I don't know y'all business or what's going on. But you wouldn't be a DJ if you didn't pick up or get your tools, buy your tools or whatnot. 
and find records to spend for free. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for you to spend my record for free because I, I, I pay. I mean, you can probably ask anybody that I ever done business with in the industry of becoming an artist and everything. Most you always pay. You know what I'm saying? I always pay for whatever I need. And if I don't got it, I just don't got it. We ain't got to do business no more. I know you ain't going to spend my shit or you ain't going to do this for me. And I get it. I understand it. I move on to the next situation just like that. It's no pressure at all. But just trying to really understand, like, where the DJ is staying when it comes to Because we all got to eat. You know what I'm saying? If, if spending the record is going to make you hot, where you can book shows and, you know, saying you still got to do your marketing to be booked. I don't know all the ways DJs are able to get paid. I don't know if it's just through bookings. You feel me? I don't know if there's a way you can get paid off your streaming which I do see a lot of DJs online doing their thing. Oh, and shout out to DJ Epps. Because, God damn it, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for one, his platform is around spinning. He, like, he, he takes pride in spinning new music and finding new music. And he spins it. He shows love to it. So, I, I got to say thanks to him because... I don't, uh, I'm going to say this loosely because I might have a few DJs that I have dealt with that really rock with me, but he's probably by far like my favorite, though. Favorite DJ that just showed love to my record. And I'm not saying he's doing that shit for free now. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, like, you can tell he enjoys spinning new records and finding new records and, and finding that new heat. And, 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 and that's what I appreciate. He gives it a chance to be heard and be spun. And, and he's going to enjoy it. And he's going to see what other people think as well, too. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to DJ S. He, he, he is definitely, definitely a, a, a major a major player in the hip-hop community. I've been hearing his name for a long time. And it's great to know that he still has the same power and effect that, I mean, still to this day. So, Salute DJ Epps, man. You keep doing your thing, you feel me? Who is breaking your record? DJ Epps is right now, you feel me? So, salute. And salute all the DJs, too. And y'all help me understand that whole DJ and artist relationship. Because I definitely would love to have a conversation about it. Just to understand it. But not just for me. Because it's a lot of artists that just don't understand. And they want to understand. Because some of them actually are fucking amazing. It's a lot of them. It's fucking amazing. But they just... They just don't know how to deal with the relation from the DJs. You feel me? So, yeah, I'm going to tap right back in. Let me get my thoughts together and come back in with a whole nother vibe. But, yeah, Motri, Crazy Music Entertainment. Yo. Come on.